Shalom, shalom, first and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, and double honor to those great meals on why I learned this truth, and also to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad. I'd like to say, shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The type of day lesson is, have you been deceived? So I'd like to say, shalom. To all our listeners to learn, hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of the righteous and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we have a lot of people that have been de uh, deceived, a lot of wickedness, a lot of lying and deceit is going on. Not about that wicked vibration is in the earth because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And not about it that you know a lot of people are going on in the ways uh, of this world, which in fact is a is the wisdom of this world is an enemy to Yahweh. And, and I've got a lot of people walking after their own lust. A lot of people walking after corruption. And it would only lead to death and destruction. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is Have You Been Deceived? So we get started in the book of First uh, John chapter 4. And we'll start up at verse 1. And it reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out unto the world. But one thing about it is that a lot of people don't have a, 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 a spirit of discernment because they don't have that understanding. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. And I about it, you got to be able to uh, discern uh, 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 evil from good. You know, and I, a lot of people cannot discern it because they have been deceived. They have a strong delusion. So now let's start back up. And, uh, and also, you can go to Matthew chapter 24, and verse uh, 4, I believe, verse 4, and it's tell you that the Lord said, Yahweh said that, let no man deceive you. You know, a lot of people will come in, in the name of the Hamasiah and shall deceive many. So when you look on television, you see all these mega churches, you know, uh, TV Snicks, uh, you see uh, Joel Osteen, uh, uh, Benny Hinn, a lot of these people are constantly, are false prophets, constantly leading uh, uh, the blind, uh, 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 constantly leading the blind, which in fact are, are, are the deceivers straight into a ditch. The blind leading, leading the blind will, will fall into a ditch. So like in that advice that, you know, we constantly warn you left and right, but a lot of people thinking that they are righteous, you know, thinking that they have the truth and that about it that, you know, you have been deceived and don't even know it. So a lot of people have been shut off. The law has closed the door on them, but you know, that's why you must have a spirit of discernment, and the one that have that spirit of discernment is the elect. So now, let's start back up in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 2, and it reads, Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh HaMashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That is the elect. Verse 3, and it reads, And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh HaMashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it is it should come, and even now already it is in the world. So there are many Antichrists that is in the world. You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, that they're righteous, saying, calling on the wrong name of the heavenly father, which in fact is a, a white man Jesus. Constantly trusting in the strength of Egypt, you are an antichrist. Uh, constantly uh, walking around, uh, doing whatever they want to do. A man, a uh, 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 marrying a man, uh, a woman marrying a woman. You know what I'm saying? You are an antichrist. You're totally against this gospel. And I and I about a lot of people constantly eating all sorts of defiled things, which in fact is pork, lobster, uh, 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 all sorts of abomination. And I about it. You are an antichrist. A lot of people that are speaking against this truth. You are a antichrist. So it is already in the world and that is about it. You have been deceived. So now let's start back up at 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye are of the most high little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Who is greater than uh, the one that is in the world, which in fact is Satan? That is Yahweh. He is greater. You know what I'm saying? Because he dwell in us each and every day. Ye are the temple of the most high. And that about it. A lot of people that have been uh, deceived, they have defiled their temple. And that about it that, you know, uh, they don't even know it. And that about it. They constantly thinking that their, uh, 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 their understanding, which in fact their own understanding, 
It's only leading them to straight to death and destruction. And we constantly warn them, never, constantly despise them, constantly mock them because they have been deceived. They love smooth talk. They love all lies and deceit. And it only will lead to death and destruction. So now, let's get a, a quick precept. One moment. One moment. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians. One moment. <clears throat> let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter... 1 Corinthians, one moment. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and we'll start up at verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 19. And it reads, it says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Let's read that again. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high, for it is written, he taketh his taketh the wise in their own craftsmen. So a lot of people thinking that they are wise think they are smart, but they are he take them in their own craftsmen because that is about they they don't have the love of the Lord in them, and that is about they they love the, the ways of this world. If you're a friend with this world, then you are enemy uh to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. And that is about that, you know, we constantly warning you left and right. A lot of people still thinking that they're a good case. But that is about is that, you know, in the end, you know, they will be destroyed because they don't uh, have that spirit of discernment, you know. And that is about is that, you know, they thinking what they're thinking, they thinking that they are right and all the time they're wrong. And that is about it. If the Lord is not uh, dealing with you, you're going to be destroyed. Just plain and simple. So now let's go back to uh, John chapter. Don't mean to be rambling. Let's go back to the first John one moment. <laughs> Let's go back to 1 John and we read it, uh, one more verse out of there before we get started with the lesson. Uh, 1 John chapter 4, and we'll start back up. One moment. 1 John chapter 4, and we'll start back up. Let's start back up at uh, verse uh, 5. And it reads, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. Verse 6, We are of the Most High. He that knows uh, the Most High, hears hears. Hears us. He that is not of the Most High hears not us. Hereby know, know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. That is the elect. So that is about we have the spirit of discernment. We can uh, uh, examine, you know, we can see if someone coming in the right spirit. We can see if someone coming uh, in the wrong spirit. And that is about that, you know, the Lord has gave us that I said that only come from Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Have you been deceived? So now, let's go to. Uh, uh, Colossians, one moment. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Colossians chapter 2, one moment. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. <clears throat> and it reads, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the ruddiness of the world, and not after the Hamasiah. Let's read that again. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the ruddiness of the world, and not after the Hamasiah. So the tradition of men, you know, a lot of people have vain deceit, you know, constantly uh, believing in all these false doctrines, all all these uh, deceits of the world, all these different pagan uh, things that's, uh, 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 that is uh, totally against Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah. And that is about as that. We constantly warn them. And a lot of people are, are finding out the truth, but that is about it. It is a rude awakening to them because that is about it. They was erring, and that is about it. You must come back under total subjection to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Do not put your trust in man. Put your total trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And, that, and a lot of people are, are constantly are going on in the ways of the world, and it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's getting ready to destroy you. So now, so let's let's go to uh one more. Let's go to uh now let's go to uh second Timothy one more. Second Timothy one moment. Second Timothy chapter one moment. Second Timothy chapter three. Second Timothy chapter three, and we'll start up at verse one. And it reads, This know also that in the last day perilous time shall come. Verse two, for men shall be lovers of their own own self, covetous, boasters, proud, 
blasphemers, dis, uh, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Verse 3, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accuser, incontinent, fierce, despiser of those that are good. Verse 4, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than the lovers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So a lot of people are, are constantly uh, high mind, are uh, constantly full of pride. And because that is about they have been deceived. And that is about that, you know, the Lord has shut the door on them. And that is about he said the election has attained it, and the rest was blind. What have the election attained? This understanding that only comes from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This gospel. And I about it that this gospel is strengthening us each and every day. And I about it that, you know, it's, it, it is a, a beacon of hope. It is a light through all this darkness. And I about it, it's a discernment. And I about it that, you know, we constantly warning you left and right, but you cannot see, you cannot hear because you have been deceived. So now let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to Romans chapter 16. Romans chapter 16, one moment. Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. Romans chapter 16. And verse 17, and it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Verse 18, For they that are, are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach, but their, their own belly, and by, by good uh, words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So, you have to be able to discern. That's the number one thing. And I about a lot of people have been deceived. And I about it that you know you see a lot of people come with fair speeches, constantly talking politely to, which in fact the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And a lot of people uh, uh, constantly is caught up, you know, in, in, in that deception. And I didn't about it that you know it, they are caught up. And I didn't about it that you know the Lord uh, uh, is setting a trap and a snare for you because you don't have the love of the truth in you. And that is about it that you, you are despised. And so it will only lead to that. And, and, and a lot of people are constantly uh, are walking in, in deception, walking in wickedness and uh, in corruption. And that is about it that you will reap the same. So now let's uh let's go to uh one moment. One moment. Let's go to uh uh Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter two. One moment. Second Thessalonians chapter two. And we'll start up at verse 7. And it reads, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way. So wickedness and deceit and lies are all is, is already working. You know, a lot of iniquity because uh, 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 the Most High is letting, is letting it go on right now because he has given uh, 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 the earth into to the hands of the wicked. And that is about it that, you know, we're constantly warning you left and right that wicked vibration is going through the earth, constantly deceiving. He said that the, the deceived and the deceiver is here, says the Lord. So the Lord have everything on lock. So either you receive the truth or you have not received the truth because you have been deceived. So now let's, let's start back up at verse eight. And it reads, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the idea about it, the, 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 the mouthpiece of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh is the prophet. And the idea about it, that the Lord is getting ready to destroy the wicked, the one that was deceived at the brightness of his coming. When you look to the east, the Lord will return. And the idea about it, say, every eye shall see him. And the idea about it, all the deceivers and the, and, 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 and the deceiver, the deceived and the deceiver is his, says the Lord. So the idea about it, that the Lord is in perfect control. And that is about it that, you know, he held the one third and he has the two third. The two third have been deceived. The one third, now that is about it, we're constantly being wise and constantly uh, uh, walking in the ways of righteousness each and every day through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So now we'll start back up the second Thessalonians chapter two and verse nine. Even him who coming after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So a lot of people are believing in that pseudo sign, that technology, that AI, and that about it that you know a lot of people are being deceived. And that about you also you can read about that in uh, Revelation chapter 18. That you know he said he deceived all nations, you know, by his sorcery. You understand what I'm saying? Pseudo science, technology. 
United the Baptist Day, a lot of people are understanding what I'm saying. A lot of people are lining up and being deceived each and every day. United the Baptist Day, they are walking, you know what I'm saying, straight off a cliff. And out of the back, they don't even know it. And out of the back, we are right at the end. We are in the end time. And a lot of people don't even know that we're in these perilous times. World War III is right upon us. Uh, 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 all hell is getting ready to break loose at any given time. Jacob's trouble right upon us. Well, a lot of people still thinking that they're a good case walking around here like they shit don't stink. But that little body that walking with in great pride because they have been deceived. And out of the body that, you know, we constantly warn them left and right. Two third their end shall be cut off and die because you know why? They were deceived. You know what I'm saying? Because the God of this world had deceived them. So now, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to, uh, one moment. We'll come back to that. Let's go to, uh, 2 Corinthians one moment. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, one moment. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and we'll start up at verse 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. And it reads, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Who is law? The one that has been deceived. The two-third. Verse 4. And it reads, In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of the Hamashiach, who is, who is the image of the Most High, should shine upon them. So the God of this world has deceived them. That is uh, the physical counterpart. is uh, uh, Satan, which is in fact, it's the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Trusted in the strength of Egypt. Trusted in man. And not about it that, you know, you have been deceived. And not about it. You do not trust in your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And not about it that anyone that did not seek Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall be put to death. You know, it's plain and simple. So now, let's go back to 2 Corinthians. Don't mean to be all over the place. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. And we'll start back up one moment. We'll start back up at verse one moment. We'll start back up at verse, let's start back up at verse nine. Let's read that again. And it reads, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So that about the God of this world has blinded them through their pseudoscience, through their technology, through all these lying wonders. And you know, also a lot of people were lined up to take the, you know what, the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beat. What we constantly warning you about, but you have been deceived. Oh, that ain't what that is. Oh, no, you don't know what you're talking about. You are crazy. No, you are crazy because you have been deceived. So now, let's start back up in 2 uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, and we'll start back up at verse 10. And it reads, and, and with all deceivingness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Verse 11, and for this call, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. Verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasures in unrighteousness. So they have not the, uh, the spirit of truth in them. You know, and the idea of that, there's no light in them because they were deceived. And the idea of that, the Lord has closed the door on them. And the idea of that, he has blocked them. He has put up a snare, a stumbling block. And because the idea of that, they were lovers of this world. You know, they love this world more than they love. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the idea about it is that, you know, great depth and great mourning is upon us. So now, let's go to uh, uh, Galatians one moment. Hoping you're getting edified by the lesson today. Galatians chapter, Galatians chapter 6, and we'll start up at verse uh, 7. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. One moment. And it reads, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whosoever a man Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Verse 8, for he that soweth to the flesh shall, shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth of the spirit shall uh, of the spirit reap uh, life everlasting. So that little matters that you know, if you constantly going around and constantly doing wickedness, doing all sorts of evilness. You know, you will reap the same. And that is about that if you are constantly following in the ways of righteousness, you're constantly doing the Lord's will. And that is about it. you will reap eternal salvation, rulership, uh, immortality. And that is about it. that's what we that's what we're waiting on. We're ready to rule. And that is about it. that we are constantly want to do the Lord's will. We constantly uh, uh want to walk. We constantly uh want to uh, walk by faith each each and every day, and not by sight. So. A lot of people cannot see, they cannot hear, and everybody constantly 
uh, despised, constantly rejected not because they have a lack of knowledge. And I about because they were received. So now, they don't have the faith. So now, let's go to uh, Titus. One moment. Let's go to Titus chapter 1. Titus chapter 1. One moment. Titus chapter 1 and verse, verse 15. Titus chapter 1 and verse 15. And it reads, Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled, and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their minds are and conscience is defiled. So that is by the mind and the conscience is, is, is uh, defiled because they were deceived. I mean, I did about that. A lot of people are constantly def uh, defiling their temple. And I did about it. The Lord said, ye are the temple of the most high. And I did about it that we must walk according because I did about it. The Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. He's not dealing with any other nation but us. But I did about it that that's why we must come back on a total uh, su subjection under Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh So we won't be deceived. And I did about it that, you know, he have that, 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 that I said that will lead us back into righteousness. But that is about our people don't want that this time around. They had turned their back on your house by Hashem Yahweh and constantly being deceived. And I did about it that it only lead to death, great mourning, great death, great persecution is right upon us. We constantly warning in the great day of the Lord is fast approach and our salvation is very close that we yet believe. So now let's go to uh, one moment. Let's get a, a quick precept. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, one moment. Ephesians chapter 6, and we'll start up at verse 11. One moment. And it reads, Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and, and having done all to stand. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So that everybody, we must put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So we won't be deceived. We must believe. We must constantly walk in the faith each and every day. We must watch, pray, and be sober. Because that everybody, we're dealing with principality, with power. You know, we, we deal with wickedness and high places. And out of the battles, you know what I'm saying? Well, we have that spirit of truth. We have uh, a spirit of discernment in us. So that out of the battle, the Lord is constantly guiding us, constantly bringing us through the fire. And out of the battle, say, we must be tried as gold is tried in fire. But in the end, the Lord said, the victory is out. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the, and the rest don't even know that because they have been deceived. So now, let's go to one moment. Let's get another quick precept before we close out. Let's go to Job. We'll get maybe, maybe two more. Let's go to Job chapter 12. One moment. Job, one moment. Job chapter 12 and verse 16. Job chapter 12 and verse 16. One moment. And it reads, With him is strength and wisdom. Wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Let's read it again. Job chapter 12 and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. The deceived and the deceiver are his because they don't have the understanding. There's no light in them. And I did about it that they constantly are being despised. They constantly not considering. And I did about it that they love iniquity and all sorts of wickedness. And I did about it that they love lying deceit, uh, smooth talking, things of that nature. They want to hear a lie. And I did about it. They don't want to hear the truth. And I did about it. They have been uh, deceived. A lot of people are constantly lining up. And a lot of people constantly believing in their oppressor. The Lord said, never trust thy enemy. And a lot of people are trusting their oppressor, trusting their enemies. And that is about it. They have their strong loose. They have been deceived. Now, let's go to, let's get one more quick precept and we'll close out. Let's go to uh, Proverbs chapter 3. One moment. Proverbs chapter 3. One moment. And we'll start up at verse 5. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart or, they, or your mind, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge or confess uh, to him, and he shall direct thy paths. Verse 7, 
but not wise in thy own eye. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So you have a lot of people do not fear the Lord and constantly are uh, uh, not leaning on Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, are uh, ways and that is about not confessing you know, to their true power. And they are deceived each and every day. And so we constantly warn a lot of people uh, in this last day, which in fact the hour of temptation is fast approaching. And I had about a lot of people, when they find out they won't be able to buy or sell, they find out that their freedom will be restricted if they do not take the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beat. And I had about a lot of people are going to give up and going to be faint hard. They're not going to endure because they have been deceived. And I had about it, they will not build on a solid foundation. And the one that was built on that solid, solid foundation is the elect. We will not be deceived. And I had about it, we will not bend or fold. We will stay on fire for Yahweh, by Shem Yoshai, if we have to die for the truth. And I everybody that we constantly warn you left and right. Well, a lot of people constantly being deceived. But I do about it. The Lord said that the deceiver and the deceived is here, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. The Lord is getting ready to bring that recompense of judgment back upon this earth. And I do about it that he's getting ready to set everything back into order. But a lot of our people are constantly being deceived each and every day. Don't know who they are. Don't know who their true power is. Yeah, we constantly warn you left and right. We're a, in the end time. The game is almost over. So now, let's go to uh, to our last and final script, and we'll close out. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, and we'll start up at verse 21. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. And it reads, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, help we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name has cast out devils, and thy name done many wonderful works. So a lot of people that were deceived was constantly prophesied. Pastor Porkchop, uh, these uh, pastors in these mega churches, uh, 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 TV snakes, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, 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 Osteen. Uh, I can't think of his name, but you don't understand what I'm saying. But anyway, a lot of these people in the mega church constantly prophesied and was not sent. They were deceived. And that in that day, they would call on the Lord. Lord, 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 will be too late. And that about it that, you know, Lord is, is want you to do his will, which in fact, the one that is doing his will is the house of day, the elect. We are not deceived. We will not be deceived. He said, for the elect said, those days shall be short. And I about we cannot wait. We're waiting because we're knowing that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So now we'll start back up in Matthew chapter seven. We'll start back up at verse 23. And it reads, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew uh, you depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Let's read that again. Matthew chapter seven and verse 23. And and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Those were the one that were deceived. And the Lord going to tell you in that day, I never knew you. Depart from me. Prepare for Satan and his angels. And that is bad that, you know, we are doing things that pleasing, doing things that are, is pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. That is the elect. We are not deceived. We constantly can see through the darkness because we have that eye cell that only come from your heart by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the one that cannot see, the one that's not hearing, is the one that is deceived. That is the two third. And also these heathen nations and also white man Jesus. All these different things are constantly getting you rocked back to sleep from the left hand side. And we're constantly warning you left and right. This truth has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth. And I didn't buy this day, you know, in that day, a lot of people would say, Lord, 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 but that is about this gospel is going out. This truth is in it's in the earth. And that is about it. It's up to you to accept it. And the one that is accepting it is the elect. And the one that is not accepting it is constantly going on in the ways of the world. It's the tutor. And that is about it. They have been deceived. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the title of the day lesson once again is Have You Been Deceived? So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to your house by Shem. Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, the Kakadash, I like to say, Shalom.